Here I am, still at the Niagara Integrated Film Festival, wine safely in hand. I'm talking with Tony Watts, who is director of programming. Yeah, right? That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you must have seen a lot of films that even didn't make it into the festival. Yeah, we changed like 300 movies. Wow. Well, when you realize that 1,300 movies applied to get into Sundance, that's true, and there's only 350, so what I did was I started last year in Toronto, and then in October I was in Busan, Korea, and then in November I was at the London Film Festival, in December I was at the Dubai Film Festival, and then it kind of seriously started at Sundance in January, Wow! when I chased all of these films, Diary of a Teenage Girl, uh, Adam's Ages, uh, the overnight, all of those films, uh, and some of the documentaries were on Sunday. And then in February, I was in Berlin, where I found Posthumous, the German film director, great movie, wow. yeah. And then March, I went in where I found Little Big Master, and sold out with 150 people watching it last night. Uh, I was one of them. Well done. Did you enjoy it? I did. I would change one thing, and that would be it. What would that be? I would change the score. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a little yeah. heavy handed. Everything well, else? you know. But that's how it works over there. Oh, you know, that that, that particular director usually makes quite polemic Christian films. So okay, he, that makes it a little more He toned it down a little bit, and I was aware of that, and I was aware of that Chinese mainland film. This is a Hong Kong film. So yep. This was in Cantonese, it's not Mandarin. But he's a main, I mean, everybody's aiming at the mainland. So there's a little bit of a. Um, Oh, totally. and, and conservatism yeah. about it, but the truth of the story, oh, yeah. the story was it. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I saw it in March, and it, it just opened in March in Hong Kong, and it was the number one local film. Oh, yeah. And it's been the most successful Chinese language film in China and Hong Kong for the past five years. Because it is, it is a great film. Yeah. I love it. The little kids. I did. No, no, you were cynical. I, I, I didn't think I was, but no. I'm like, I, I no, you, you, you can see when you're being manipulated. Yeah, and it's a little bit cliche, but the kids are. The kids, are, yeah, and the lead, like, her name is Louise Smith. Maybe I'm young. Yeah, yeah. Stunning to look at. Yeah, and her husband is Louis Koo, who's a big star. He was really only there to help the audience because he's not really there. It's all about her and the kids. Oh, totally. Yeah. That's a gorgeous, a great story. Yeah, true, true story. story. True, true story. story. True story. So in March, I found Little Big Master. In April, I had some people in South by Southwest. May, I was in Cannes. And uh, just a couple of last minute films from there. And then, so yeah, then we chased them down. The, the, the problem with um, trying to get that why they should come to Niagara in Canada in June is that they're, because they get up in January in Cannes and they're trying to sell their bells. And if they haven't sold their films, they don't know whether they should talk to you or not. Luckily, two or three of these films have not yet been sold, so I was able to get them where they come, because we could show them what happened last year, and it's a nice audience, yeah. and it's a nice mixture of movies and wine and food. And oh, totally. And it's unique. It's unique. It's unique. So, so, no, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's frustrating because you chase a lot of films, but the two biggest films in Sundance is no, no, no. Brooklyn, which starts social running. I'm sure that'll be in Toronto and it'll be awards so many times. And then the other one I really like is really Tony and Brandon. Very funny. Hey, Rare is an essay in that for a lot. So you get stuck with that a bit. And then people say, well, you know, I'm going to try to work with Tony and I'm going to try to work with Toronto. But the mix is nice because you have, you have local content from the local region, you have documentaries, some of which are about serious subjects and some of which are about food and wine, like the race that won the prize. And that had two standing ovations. I don't know if you I heard, that. sorry, just told me. I don't know if you were that screen. So, because the chef came uh, from Chicago and uh, Oh, it was wonderful. Standing ovation at the end of the screening when the director stood up, Kevin Han, who is from Scarborough. Nice. Nice. And then uh, Curtis, the chef, Tony Hunter, who did a QA and a in a standing ovation at the end of that. You live for that. You do? Yeah. So, uh, and now that this one is wrapping up, are you ready for the next one? Well, I move on. I'm going uh, from here, I'm going to LA to meet some of the studios for next year and some other personal stuff there and then in uh, July 